shifting gears and jumping into another league with um, Breach Titan. Um, so this deck and it's uh, the the Valakut shell. So we're on the four Valakuts. Um, we're on seven fetches, and then we're on four stomping grounds, two center glades, two forests, and then six mountains. Um, this deck has a pretty standard ramp list, so you're on like the far seeks. We're on three of those though: uh, four Sakuras, uh, four Search for Tomorrows. Um, it's got a one of Wood Elves, and then the part that's going to change here because we the four bolts and the two swelterings are also pretty stock. Uh, there's also on three packs over like the standard two. Um, we're only on one Scape Shift. Um, we're on two Hour of Promise, four Through the Breach, along with the four Prime Times and one Woodfall, allowing us to just, uh, if we can breach out a Titan, we usually win that same turn, which is pretty sweet. Um, in the sideboard, we've got two Grudges, two Angers, a Beast Within, a Rex Sage, two Trackers, two Bailoffs, a Carnage Tyrant, um, two Relics, an EE, and a Graph Digger's Cage. So this is the same list we went 5-0 uh, with last time, so let's see if we can make that happen again. Uh, yeah, the modern market, um, there was a pretty big dip after, I don't know, it was a, it was a while back, uh, but after the weird announcement that um, Wizards made uh, about supporting Arena more, right, um, caused the modal market, I think more, uh, modern cards lost something like 30% value across the board, and it still hasn't recovered. It's gone back up, but nowhere near the level it was. Um, some of the cards, though, keep spiking in popularity, so which is good. Um, we're going to mull this. This hand's really just playing land go with one bolt and one breach. Hmm. We're on the play. This hand's got a search for Mara, which is pretty good. Doesn't have much else going for it, though. It'd be a gamble to keep this. If we can, we'd have to get at least one more land, because then the search can get us another one. So let's try this one out. All right, we got another land. And as bad as this is, I'm just going to play this and pass, because I want to get that land. A stopping here, suspend the search for tomorrow, and pass it over. Yeah, Arc Lake and Surgical have spiked enough. It's kind of crazy how high they've gotten. Everything else has only gone up a tad bit, if at all, compared to where they were at, so. really use one land here. If we can just get land, land, we'll be able to go land up to the sweltering, um, search for Morrow, and then we'll be able to go breach and our other promise, which would pretty much let us win the game. So we're really just hoping for the ability to get two lands in a play. Ideally a land or a ramp spell, and then just a land normally. In a worst case scenario, at the very least, next turn we'll be able to sweltering suns. Whew. Double creeping chills.
Nice. Yeah, I'm always happy when you get like a nice chest that just gives you tons of great value. All right, that's a pact. We're not gonna be able to do anything with it. Next turn, if we're really desperate, we can do the Summoner's Pact for a Sakura Tribe Elder, but I don't really want to be on that kind of plan right now. Sweltering on our turn does not seem bad at all. Because we're about to take a good hit here. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting more chance. So we're going to take four here, go two four, and then they could come flag us for the win. And we're not going to do anything about it. So we're just dead. So we want to bring in the Angers, and I want to bring in the Baylos, the Relics, and the EE. I don't mind taking out the Scape Chef, the Hours, the Woodfall Primus, and then a couple of the Bolts. Yeah, we were just we were just dead. first. This is a more standard hand for us. We'll keep this. We'll run out the center glade and pass it over. You want me to get a turtle emoji? Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm very new to this whole streaming business. How do I get emojis? Pretty good for them, a blood gas and an amalgam. A creeping chill, pretty solid one. Next turn we're gonna be able to go Sucrose, Farsi, or uh, Bailoff here. We'll probably go the Sakura and Farsi just so we can uh, keep our ramp going. I have to have subs first. This game's gar this this format's garbage or this platform's garbage. Done with this. I feel like I need subs to do anything. And I have to get like a ton of viewers to get to the subs point.
Oh, what else? That's not bad. Alright, at this point we just need a prime time. <laughs> so we're probably just going to go block block on the Amalgam, sack the Scourge Drive Elder, get a Mountain in play. We got a whole lot of Blood Gas and another Creeping Chill. And an Amalgam. We also don't mind getting an Anger here. Is that lethal though? Go packed, get a titan, get two valakuts in play, swing, and then we can shoot for 12. Don't think that's lethal. It's only 18, unfortunately. Hmm. Are we better off? Oh, Ken Flag is in the graveyard. They got two of them in the graveyard. Do we have to just do a value uh, Titan here just to wipe their board and hold off for a turn? Um, and then go for the bail off in the far seeks? I think that's where we're at. Yeah. Because I don't think we can stay alive if we go for the um, Obstinate Bailoff play. We go to 15, we cast Farseek, block the Amalgam, still take 3, 6, 8, 10, and then they can flag us for the rest. So, yeah, I think we're on the um, Pact for Titan. And we're just going to have to use it to wipe their board.
We should obviously be signing one bajuka bog. And I think we have to breach too. Because if we were to just primeval tie and go get a Valica and a Mount and shoot down an amalgam, we'll be able to block an amalgam and still take three, four, five, six, seven. And then they'll be able to still loam and kill us. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the idea of having one bog in the side. It shouldn't impact anything too much, and being able to fetch it up with a Titan seems pretty sweet. Uh, Valakut Mountain means we have one trigger, and then we go Mountain Mountain, that was three triggers. Or Valakut Mountain and then into a Valakut Mountain, that's only three triggers. So yeah, we're gonna we're best off going Valakut Valakut. Let's go get two stopping grounds. Don't want to pay life. Let's hit that. Hit that. Hit that. And hit the ghast. I think they actually still kill us, right? They can conflag their whole hand away as long as they have a land in hand and bring in uh, bring us to five, and then they'll be able to um, bring back all their blood gas and kill us. Oh, right now they only have one blood gas, two blood gas. We might be alive by the hair of our teeth. Is that how that saying goes? Oh, no. That that creeping shell should be in this. Skin of our teeth. Not hair of our teeth, right? I think we're just dead. Like, they could have gone for the land blood gas swing, but I think they're just going for the conflag kill here. That sucks. Okay, okay. Starting off 0-2. Uh, I mean 0-1. Solid, solid night. to get my deck on the screen I've only played this um, breach list once um, on the stream the other night and we did go 5-0 with it I haven't had a chance to play it off stream yet because um, I've been playing other decks and so uh, this is my second time playing the deck so this hand's got a lot of potential here we can go uh, Turn two ramp on Farseek, 
and then we can play Prismatic. If we can get hit, land a ramp spell, it's going to be pretty much over. We can Pact for a Wood Elves or a Sakura, so I'm going to keep this. Oh, you're playing me? <laughs> Well, that's nice of him. So it's the mirror match. Nice. Well, if we can rip a land off the top, I think we got this. Unless they have a through the breach right now. All right, but we also didn't hit it. Hmm. I think we're just gonna have to pass again. at one here. Pacting Wood Elves, the problem with that is it will turn us off the following turn. Because we can get the Wood Elves to get the mana, but then our following turn we have to pay for the pack, turning us off again. We definitely need a breach. Well, I, I think I'm out actually works too. So, right? Hit them with that. Always yes, always yield. And we'll just go fetch up two Valakuts. And kill them. I'm so sorry, Quell. here. I want to bring in the beast within. Hmm. No sweltering is bad. Do we just bring in like trackers? And uh, possibly that? Hmm. There's a whole lot of cards we're bringing in and the only card I know that I don't want in the deck is Sweltering Suns. 
Um, bolts aren't completely irrelevant, but they are one of our worst cards just because they aren't going to be doing that much for us. I don't mind going this game plan here. Um, hmm. I think this is what we're going to try. Higher threat density and some uh, extra draw power. Whew, this hands would have been so good, but we're going to mulligan it. Mm, we'll keep this. We'll take the search. <gasps> They've got Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh my god, what is this? Sakura. Okay. take next turn off and then I'll be our turn tracker okay Just a prime time. We can fight through that. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Prime time. We're so good at this. Malakut and a stomping ground would be three triggers, then our land would be three more triggers. a pleasure playing against you Quell and yeah you're right both games you were off just by one and we got pretty lucky because it seemed like in game one you had the the breach and the titan and it was just a turn later than you needed it to finish us off and in that one you got 
it off, but you had to take a turn off because of that Summoner's Pact. Oh, you had Scapeshift in hand? Oh, wow. So, uh, out of curiosity, uh, we boarded out the the bolts and the sweltering suns, and brought in the tireless trackers, the bailoffs, the carnage train, and the uh, beast within. What was your sideboard plan? Relics for the card draw, that makes sense. Okay, so they're on Colossal Drowsy. Hmm. We're on the draw here, and we've got a double search for Marla. I think we're gonna keep this hand. to just get this uh, Mimic off the board here. Because that can do a lot of damage to us when we need more time. If they're on the Scourge plan, we're much happier with that. We'd like to hit a land here. Nope, we're not that cool. there would have been great. We could have gone double suspend. Another scourge. Okay. And another scourge. The triple temple hand. Our opponent's really good at drawing. Uh, Drazi players do. suspend the search here again and we're gonna pass and hold up the bolt because um, we can't take nine on this turn So, so our only way to stay alive, from what I can see, is pacting. We can grab a Wood Elves, get the land, play the Far Seek to ramp, but then next turn we're, we're still just dead. And if we choose to just go a Far Seek and Prismatic this turn, we just die on the swing. So I think we just have to play to our outs, and we're just kind of packed here. For the Wood Elves. Use the Wood Elves. Get the Cinder Glade. And then we'll ramp. Alright, they got the Dismember, so they got that. I don't mind going to the uh, grindier game plan against this kind of deck. We can definitely beat them to the punch because we have such a strong late game.
kind of split on the um, the angers and the sweltering suns because they're good against the mimics, good against the uh, the three threes there. But um, the problem is they're so bad against the thought knots and the uh, the thought knots and the smashers. But I think we need them regardless. So. We won't do a full trim on that. We're going to cut one bolt, though. And if we're, we'll go the swelterings over the angers here. So then we can uh, cycle it if it ends up being in a bad spot. this hand. We got a no value serum powder, which is good for us. And they cut the six. And they're going to five. Okay, copter. That's fine. We're just gonna go Sakura into Sakura into a Titan or a Carnage Tyrant here. Is Carnage Tyrant still expensive? I feel like that's the one card I have to pick up for this deck if I have to uh, actually build it. Not us. That feels like a thought knot. That's a thought knot. They want the pact or the tyrant. I do have a special place in my heart for the Eldrazi decks. This version that they're on right now is probably the only version I haven't played. And Andrew keeps trying to get me to play this version. And I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't like it enough, but I feel like I should play it because it seems solid. But, I don't know. Uh, I think Reese always hates these kind of decks, don't you, Reese? You hate the fact that I'm not doing anything oppressive enough because it's modern. They took Sakura. How rude. Well, we're gonna ramp here, and we're gonna grab a force, because we're gonna be able to play that prismatic. See if we hit a land. If we can hit a land, we'll pack and get double Valakuts and just do craziness with it. I would obviously also be okay with a Through the Breach. And we just have to hope they don't hit another Thought Not. Ah, Scourge. We're okay. We're okay with Scourge. Yeah, I've never been sold in this version either, Reese. You don't mind Eldrazi Tron? Yeah, I like Eldrazi Tron. I played the deck for a long time. I just wish it was in a better spot right now in the meta.
What is Eldrazi Tron weak to? A lot of the games I feel like I lose, it loses to itself. Um, but any of the Blood Moon decks, it doesn't do great against. And then it's only at the highest quality when Chalice is at its really good point. And right now, Chalice is actually pretty solid. Because um, if you can Chalice against a uh, any of the um, Phoenix decks or the Dredge decks, they, they do it does slow them down a good chunk. Um, and Phoenix being on, uh, not Phoenix, but um, Shadow being on the rise right now, it's pretty good. Um, I definitely think the Eldrazi Tron fell out of favor with all of the um, humans and spirits decks. So. You want me to break out some Chalice decks? I don't mind. If this league wraps up fast, we can do it. Otherwise, I'll definitely run, uh, I can definitely run Etron on uh, Sunday. Because um, there's two versions of Etron um, really out there. There's the version that kind of relies. Um, on hitting Tron to get out some of its big end drops, and we can play that version first. And then after that, there is just the straight up Eldrazi version, which cuts a lot of that. And then it still has the payoff capabilities, but it doesn't rely on having the Tron lands in order to get things off. This weekend, I don't know if there's an event going on. Um, I didn't think there was an IQ nearby because a lot of the IQs. Um, that we saw weren't like in a reasonable driving distance until um next week it does look like it's um cincinnati that's the big event going on this weekend but it requires you to have a standard modern and legacy player and i don't have that yeah the red white prison deck seems solid that's another chalice deck that reese has been big on and it really seems to prey on the meta pretty heavily right now with i believe he plays rest in peace in the main right and you play blood moon and you play chalice so you're just like crushing the format We just need a standard deck and we good. Who's got a legacy deck that we know of? Like, I know there's legacy players in this area, but I don't really hang out with too many of them right now. And I haven't gone to uh, any of the legacy events to talk to any of them. Because standard players are not hard to find. Like, we can find some pretty solid standard players. We, we've got a lot of good, met, uh, good standard players in our, our Grand Rapids area. Woot woot. Alrighty. So we're just gonna pact here. Go get ourselves a primeval titan. Go fetch up two Valakuts. Let's get rid of their board real quick. they got for us yeah that copter took forever i don't know why they're taking so long one to two seas is quite a bit right like unless i'm mistaken underground seas are still a pretty hefty penny market price on a sea right now is just shy of 600 
I'm, I mean, honestly, we can probably borrow an underground C. Um, but I know I'm not a legacy player because I just don't have enough reps in that format. I watch it on occasion, but that's it. So we'd have to find uh, a player that's comfortable in legacy. And I also have plans this weekend. But people should try to go to that uh, that format. It's a pretty sweet team format. <laughs> Look, man, whatever you do for your work and whatever you do to for your income, props to you. <laughs> Actually, you know, over at Cornerstone, I think they run a legacy event pretty regularly. <laughs> you, you're that good, Race? You only have to do one job? is thinking pretty hard right now. They're going for the swing? What are they searching for? Okay, well, we are swinging. <clears throat> wonder if they're trying to figure out the best time to go this quarter, which is right now, I believe. Because if they wait for our uh, prime time trigger to resolve, we'll be able to get uh, three additional triggers. If they do it right now, we only get one trigger. Okay, they're waiting, so they should be dead. Because they wanted to wait. I actually think they're, I mean, they're, I think they're dead no matter what, but. I think they forgot that we had Prismatic going in play. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to run that back. Yeah, no matter what they were they were pretty much dead. Because, like, even if they ghost quartered us in response, we get one land, shoot them for three, get the other two lands in a play, and shoot them for 18. So. Okay. Solid hand. 
kind of susceptible to a thought knot taking our prime time here, but this is still good enough for us to keep. They lost a temple. And they have another one. NBD. Oh my gosh, then they got a thought not. Goodbye, prime time. We'll miss you. Oh, they must have another one. There's the second thought knot. Okay. So we hit a search for tomorrow. We're gonna cast it and we're just gonna get a forest. And then run out the far seek, a stomping ground, no pain, run out the Valakut, and pass it over. Alright, we just need to hit a payoff spell now. And we're golden. Just gonna fetch up a forest here, keep the bullets in our deck. Cause we're already at uh, five bullets in play, one in hand. Are on a two turn clock. Did not hit a payoff, folks. two one and two going into the fourth match here not not doing too hot but i feel like both games were pretty close so
I just hit a new milestone. Sweet. So right now I'm working towards being um, an affiliate and I have to average, uh, oh no, do I already have an affiliate? This hand's risky. We have to hit a land. We're on the play. We'd have to hit a land and another land. <laughs> um, hmm. But I think this is fine. We've had high interaction with double bolt. Definitely can't be slow here, and we kind of are. I just hit 50 followers. Boom! Thanks, guys. That's sweet. Well, if they carn us, we can still bolt it, so it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're. So the question we have here is whether or not we want a Wood Elves land and uh, shock ourselves. But if we do that, they carn us. We're not going to be able to get out our Titans. So I think we just run out the Titan. And we kill them. This is the next part of this plan. <laughs> It is going well, and thanks for joining, man. Okay, I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm loving this breach plan. <laughs> Within? Is that it? Huh. Yeah, I think that's it. If we're on the play, I don't bring mind bringing in the grudge, but otherwise, I just don't think it's worth it. They don't have a carn. They do. We're still gonna want to sack this curve. We can just bolt the carn. Want to keep up our ramp? Ooh, it doesn't look like they have a payoff. So we're gonna sack. Alright, 
it's still no lands. <sighs> no, I mean, no ramp spell here, so we're just going to pass it over. We're pretty much okay with most things. If they go Tower Ulamog, though, that's not okay. Because we died of that. We are going to want to bolt them at the end of turn, though. Uh, we won. Oh my gosh, are they doing it? Okay. We're safe. We're safe. No, Tower Ulamog's really never okay. Okay. So we win, right? Uh, five lands, Cinder Glade makes six, Far Seek for the other landscape shift win. Oh no, we don't have triple green for it. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. If we had triple green, we'd be able to, uh, we'd be able to Far Seek and Scape Shift for the 18 we need. Mm. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, if we go get um, the two mountains we need to shoot the Ugin for six so they can't kill our prime time we'll still have one one two six mountains in the deck which is good okay so we'll do that Yeah, we're not in a lot of danger. A Tron player walks into a bar, orders a beer. The bar center, uh, the bartender says that'll be three do uh, eight dollars. The Tron player puts down three dollars. Let's keep the change. Isn't isn't the bartender supposed to say that'll be like five dollars? Or am I misunderstanding? <laughs> Ghost Quarter is fine. Um, the thing is, I'm pretty sure we still just win. So we still got the four stomping grounds in the deck along with two mountains. So we're just going to scape shift here. Sack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll sack all of those. Putting eight lands in play, grabbing Valakut, Valakut, and all of the lands. We did it! 
Aw, yeah. Let's make it a winning league. And this hand's sweet. We'll keep it. Hands much less sweet now. Goodbye, prime time. Okay, they took that. That's Really confused, but I'll take it. Sure, they got another hand removal, hand disruption. So I think we're best off just letting the prime time go and just keeping the land just so we can keep making our land drops. Because that's what's really important here um, for us. So Guys, I think I'm an affiliate now. I think that's sweet, right? I gotta figure out what that all means for me, but I'm pretty sure I'm an affiliate. Pro I'm in the affiliate program now. So that is pretty awesome. Thanks, everyone. Oh yeah, baby, we're gonna die to that mind rack. I mean the rack. Yeah, I'll have to uh, jump off after this uh, league, and I think, or I'm going to hang out on the league, but I'll be done after playing after this, and I'm trying to figure out how to uh, do all the stuff, so we'll figure that out. Yeah, racing rack's not going to be fun. I think we have to sack the Sakura Tribe Elder now, though. And that way, if we get a prime time, we can just cast it. We did not get a prime time. Uh. 
So we have to rip it, what, this turn? To not die? Well, that's an hour of promise. And it will kill the Liliana, but we'll die to the Rack and the Beetle Bolt. Ancient grudges. Our EEs, our Rex Sage, our Beast Withens. We also need trackers and Baylos. <clears throat> I think this is one match where we can pitch the sweltering suns. I am actually fine to, the, to ditch the Through the Breach plan on this one as well. It's just not going to be as great because they're going to be just discarding us heavily. And we want a, that's a card they can leave in our hand. Um, and I just want to have as high of a threat density as possible. I'll also bring in the Tyra and bring, take out the Bolt. Let's try it this way. Okay, I'm good with this. Got two payoff spells, a lot of ramp. See if we can make that happen. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anybody likes not playing magic, right? Like, you play magic, you show up, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm dead. Can't do anything about it. That's like the worst feeling ever. I could feel a smallpox coming. It's going to be bad. Raven's Crown is too strong. This is not looking good, folks. to hit EE -E on one. No, that's not it. We're dead, folks. Oh, man. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't think we ever win that matchup. Thanks for joining. All right, let's uh, wrap up. So I still am a big fan of this deck. I think a lot of those matches were super close. Um, so 
I, I don't know. I, I'm going to keep trying to test out this deck and see if that's where I want to be for the next big event. Uh, let's wrap up the recording.